Welcome to Milestone Mic Methods, a tutorial series brought to you by Music in Africa Live, where we show you how to capture the sounds of African instruments. At Milestone Studios in Cape Town, our engineers have spent decades finding the best way to mic up instruments that are unique to our continent, and we're going to share that knowledge in every episode. I'm Tabo Mopo, and today we'll be looking at the best ways to place microphones on a djembe for live performances and recording. The djembe is a goblet-shaped drum which originated in West Africa around 800 years ago. One end is covered with skin and the other end is open. The skin is played with bare hands and is tuned by tightening or loosening ropes. Tuning is not a simple matter and should be left to the experts. A good player of the djembe can produce a wide variety of sounds by hitting the skin with different parts of the hand. Many of these sounds come from the top of the skin, so if you only have one microphone available, then this is the best place to put it. In a live context, a common dynamic microphone like the Shure SM57 is a good option. Place the microphone facing the player and pointing towards the middle of the skin at a 45 degree angle about 15 centimeters above the drum. Positioning it like this captures most of the sound and because the mic is close to the source, it doesn't pick up much of the sound of other nearby instruments. Make sure that you position the mic where the player won't accidentally hit it. In a studio situation where you might have access to more microphones, you can get a better sound by using two of them. You can still use a dynamic microphone like the SM57 on top, or you can use a condenser microphone which will probably have a wider frequency response. Here, we're using the Neumann U87. While much of the sound of the djembe comes from the skin, a strong bass sound also comes from the open end of the drum. If you have another mic available, place it near the opening and combine it with the sound of the top mic. In this case, we've used a dynamic mic suitable for recording a bass drum. Here is the sound of the bottom mic alone. And here is the sound of both mics combined. You can set the balance between the two to feature more or less space. If you are working in a good sounding room and it's possible to isolate the sound of the djembe from other instruments, you can use one or two distant mics to capture the sound of the instrument in the room. Here, we are using two omnidirectional DPA microphones to give an idea of the whole space. If you use the pair of distant mics, you can also add that sound in to make a blend of all four mics. Well, that's it for today. Our thanks to Kim Masala for demonstrating how these instruments are played, and to our sponsors, Music in Africa Live, the Goethe Institute, Siemens, and the Federal Foreign Office for supporting African music. Watch out for more videos in the series, and until next time, cheers and goodbye.